Should WWE 2K24 have create a finisher? Now, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This one doesn't seem realistic. I have made a ton of videos talking about WWE 2K24 and what they could possibly have, what we could possibly get. I don't know if this is gonna be one of them. Create a finisher was great when we had it, but I have to admit, I didn't utilize the feature as much as many other people did, and I think when I did, I just probably made the craziest finisher that I could possibly make. Like, the whole thing where you can just kind of like, you can do uh, like a dominator, and then you can like lift them up into a spear, and then the, your opponent can get up, and then you can do like a power bomb. You can do like three different finishers and like one finisher in the creative finisher mode. Obviously, if 2K were to 2K were to do that, I don't believe that we would have the capabilities of being able to do that, which would actually kind of maybe benefit online mode because online mode was probably crazy with those custom finishers and stuff like that. But like creating creating move sets is already very hard. Uh, creating finishers, I mean, they probably don't take too long. It just probably, it depends on, you know, the move you want to do. We already have such of, like, an incredible amount of moves to use in this game. And DLC characters always add new moves to the game. There's so many moves that... Create a finisher might not be as necessary as some people might think. We have, we, we're, it, this is a simulation game. We have so many moves. So, I don't know how necessary it is. Would I like to have it? Yeah, I actually would, because if we did have it, I would actually give my custom character his own thing, and I would make something specifically catered to my custom character. I would even, I, I would give us the option to name your own thing, and like, yeah, I, I think it would make a lot of sense to, to, I, I mean, I, I just think it can work, but I, I don't know how realistic it is for 2K24 specifically. If people want it enough, we can have it in maybe a couple years. And hey, if I am wrong, by the way, and they announce create a finisher, I want you guys to come back to this video and be like, haha, you were wrong. And I'd be like, oh. Wow, this is funny, but yeah, no, I just don't know how realistic it is to get creative finisher. Did I like it? Sure. Was it annoying in online mode back then? I, th I believe it was, but when you're playing the game on your own, it's, it's you know, it, it's got to be fun. Now, obviously in online mode, they could just give you an option, no custom finishers, right? So, because they would do that, they would do that. Because in online mode, you can already customize more ways to that you know you can play your match. You can turn created wrestlers off, and you can you know you can do a lot of stuff. So, I'm not really worried about an online mode, in a sense, if they give you the option to maybe turn that off. But I don't even know if the custom finishers you get are gonna be OP, but they also might be because it depends on what finisher that you give them, you know what I'm saying? Like, apparently I've heard that Drew McIntyre's Claymore and Edge's Spear was, like, kinda OP in online mode. That's what I heard. So, like, imagine doing a spear and then, like, you're, and then, like, picking up your opponent and then backing up and then being able to do, like, a Claymore and... Like, I don't know. I don't know. Because apparently, I think they're OP because apparently, I, I, I believe people have said that it's hard to reverse. So people can create, like, hard to reverse finishers, basically. that That's, like, the worrying part, but it really should not be that crazy of a thing. Especially if I want to, like, play with my friends and stuff like that. I think create a finisher would be fun. I just don't know how realistic it is. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I want to know what you guys think. What what do you think about create a finisher? Or, you know, obviously, if you want to give your opinion on anything else that 2K24 should or could have, let me know. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.